In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Kodi House framework and components to create a web page in no time. Okay, so I have already downloaded the framework. Also, I have used the global editors on Kodi House to create some custom style for the colors, the typography elements, buttons and forms. Now let's move forward and let's include the components. So on the components page on Kodi House, I have already saved a few components and I'm going to use these for this uh, layout tutorial. So let's start by grabbing the main header. Let's copy the HTML. Let's go to the index file and let's paste it here. Now we can uh, click on view code. Let's go to SCSS. We have a name suggestion here, which includes an index, which can be used, uh, which is useful because gives an order to the compiling of the components. Let's create a new folder here. Components. And then let's create a new file. Copy the SCSS and paste it here. Now we want to copy the JS as well. Let's create another folder inside the, the JS folder, components. Now let's create a new file. Let's paste this one. Save. JS. And let's save this file into the components folder. Now, uh, one last thing, uh, go to the style.scss and uh, create a new line. Let's go with components. So we are using a gulp configuration to compile, sorry, dot .scss, to compile all the components that we include into this folder into the style of the page. So if you go here, you can see the header is already in place. You can resize it, it's working, it's interactive and everything is fine. Alright, so may, let's, move, uh, let's move on and let's uh, include uh, more components. Let's start by from the here. We want to copy the HTML, go to the index, paste it, then view code. Let's copy this name here. New file. Copy and paste. Now we want to copy another component, the advanced gallery. Let's go. Let's copy the HTML, paste it here. Now we want to copy the SCSS. I want to copy the name first. Dot SCSS, copy and paste it here. Now let's go and check the page so far. So uh, we, uh, some path needs, uh, need to be updated. So this path over here. I have already uploaded some images in the image folder. So we can go here and replace it, this with assets slash EMG. And now we have the images as well. So as you can see, we already have a hero section and a gallery section um, in place in our time. Let's move uh, forward. We want to include the feature component. Oops. Let's grab the HTML first and then the SCSS. Once again, I'm copying the name. Don't worry if the index is always the same. So we use basically one, two, or three uh, to change the index. And this affects the, the way the resources are compiled based on whether they have dependencies or not. So let me save here. Let's go back. We have the hero section as well. We take care of the vertical rhythm in a second. Uh, I want to copy another component first, the feature version two. We just need the HTML of this one. The SCSS is not really needed. We want to copy this before the, the other uh, feature section. And actually we're going to apply some color themes which have been created using the color global editor. The first one is called chocolate. The second one, data theme pink. Now if we save and go back to our page, you can see we have these uh, 
color themes applied as well. You can go back here and apply a padding Y, X, X, L. I'm going to apply the same padding to this other feature component as well. And we're going to add some margin bottom to the gallery. So here we go. So we have some more space. Uh, we are almost there. Let's copy the newsletter. Let's copy the HTML and let's paste it here. You can see how easy it is to build a page. We can uh, actually add some margin bottom XXL because we are going to copy the footer as well in a second. So I'm going to apply margin bottom XXL here as well. And then we still need the SCSS of the newsletter. Let's create a new file, paste the name, copy the HTML and paste, uh, sorry, copy the SCSS and paste it here. Now, finally, we want to copy the footer. Let's copy the HTML. So the process is always the same. Let's paste it here. View code, SCSS, let's copy the name, new file, dot CSS, copy and paste it, oops, right, and paste it here. Now, if we go back to our page, as you can see, we have the footer in place as well. Everything looks fine. Everything is already responsive, as you can see, and is interactive as well due to the JS file we uploaded. And we have many interactive components that you can use. And that's it. Go ahead, uh, download our framework and download our components as well and take them for a spin. Let us know what you think.